I'm joined now by Grania Bindayar Al-Yafi, and she's joining me from ADCO. She is indeed the CO2 Enhanced Oil Recovery Strategic Advisor. So, you know, when we talked about two years ago, we were just talking about this incredible project yeah. you were working on. Yeah. And here we are two years later. You've done tremendous work on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was only the initial, initial thinking that we had at the last ADPEC. And then we proposed a project, and in January it was approved. And uh, uh, in 2009, and uh, by November uh, 9th, we were all injecting the CO2 in the field. This it was only like nine, ten months of work. I mean, really, really, a sort of express project. You did tremendous work here. So you worked on getting your team together, getting all of this in place. And give us a feel for what you were doing in the reservoir. You were injecting water and CO2 there to, to flood the reservoir, really. Was that it? Ah, well, uh, this reservoir has uh, many phases. Uh, there is a developed phase of the reservoir which is injecting hydrocarbon and water alternately in, an, in a, another zone of the reservoir. But where we did the pilot, there was no water. It was just virgin oil reservoir. And it was uh, isolated so that the results of the injection would be not interfered with with the other activities in the reservoir. So this was uh, uh, an area that was uh, defined to be as original in its uh, properties as uh, possible. Now you just conducted a, a very packed technical session in there and yeah. people were just very, very interested and fascinated about what was going on. Give us a feel for what they wanted to know and what were the key questions they wanted. First of all, CO2 EOR is a, a very new concept. Not only is it a new concept in, in, you know, in our context, also in the whole world. If, as I, you remember the map I showed uh, in my presentation. It's a map of the world, and uh, uh, we show Abu Dhabi as uh, implementing CO2 EOR. But if you look, only United States and Canada are doing CO2 EOR. No one else in the world, the rest of the world, is doing CO2 EOR. There is a lot of... Uh, carbon capture and storage, uh, which is sequestration. Uh, so you may you know, take carbon dioxide from whatever source you have and just put it in the reservoir, but not for the objective of increasing oil recovery. Because it is a, uh, it is a, a rather um, complex uh, 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 process and uh, also it's quite expensive. And this, of course, the first time you've done it in Abu Dhabi and your tests and all the work you've done proving very successfully. And enhancing oil recovery is something everybody really needs to do around the world when, as the fields become more depleted. Yes, yes, yes. And, and that is maybe another answer to your question. Your first question is that people are interested because they want to implement the same. So the, the learning that they are getting from the work that we've done will be very significant for them. It helps them to you know, shortcut their decisions and to use our results as a template for their implementations. Knowing, of course, that uh, uh, each reservoir has different properties and that they have to adapt to those properties that, uh, that are existing. Of course. So what's your next step now? What are you going to be doing before I see you at ADIPEC 2012? <laughs> <laughs> well, we are now going to implement the larger uh, field project where we are going to uh, replace the hydrocarbon gas that is used uh, uh, in, in the same reservoir with uh, CO2. So that is another experience, a much larger experience. So there is a, a, a bigger challenge that we need to meet, especially that we're injecting uh, CO2 in an already existing uh, zone which has been injecting hydrocarbons. So that is an additional uh, complexity which is challenging for us. Well, and we will go forward with other challenges in this area as well. Well, super, Gania, to you yourself and indeed to all the team at ADCO. Well done, and I know we'll have more to talk about next time we see you. Sure. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.